<laughs> we are flat out now at about 45. Oh, a nice skyline, GTS. Um, yeah, this is about the limit for this bike, about 45 miles an hour at the moment. Um, it's actually missing top gear and uh, the front brake's a bit dodgy on this thing as well. Yeah, I actually crashed this thing once um, into a pedestrian, which is pretty scary. Luckily, she was quite flat, so um, it didn't cause too much damage to her and too much damage to the bike. Uh, she, she softened the blow. So this really is where the, the C90 isn't really at its uh, at its best on dual carriageways. You get people like this swat riding right up your ass. Yeah, fuck off. So, um, oh, we're doing nearly 50 now. Oh, scraping foot pegs everywhere. That's um, it's just something that happens when you ride a C90. You just end up scraping the foot peg everywhere. The, the foot pegs are too low. It's not enough ground clearance. But we're gonna have a bit of fun with this thing today. Go for some super unleaded. We'll find some nice little roads to take this out on and just try and uh, try and push it to the max. Now this may be the best selling bike of all time. 70 million sold of these. Well 70 million of these actually produced since they first started making them back in the 60s. But it is also dynamically probably the world, one of the worst bikes you're ever likely to ride. <laughs> The brakes are terrible. The back brake on this is actually better than the front. Um, you have to use both together all the time, really, because there's just nothing from the front. I think that there is something wrong with the brake on the on this one on the front. Oh, indicator's still on. But this is about max speed, really, with this. You're not going to get much more than about 40 down roads like this. But it's good fun, especially when you get like the twisty, windy bits, just having to keep it pinned through all the corners. So they flat out around here. <laughs> and the whole front wheel like lurches back and forward on the brakes as well. So in the wet, these things are really sketchy. So um, yeah, going over bumps on this thing really hurts sometimes. <laughs> Resurface down here now, it's quite nice. Ooh. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> See, I still get slowed down by cars, even on the world's slowest motorbike. I actually got up to about 55 then, drafting that truck, so uh, that's the trick. I used to get a few more looks when I was riding the Aprilia. For fuck's sake. They do all this crap reed road surfacing in Bristol, it really pisses me off. Hit these bits of gravel at the side of the road everywhere, it's ridiculous. It's like fucking, it's like going off road. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh god, yeah, I forgot the brakes on this thing don't work. Not really a good route to take with a bike that only has about an inch of suspension travel. Getting grip. Like, these tyres aren't actually that bad. I just don't really want to bottom it out. Last time I took this thing off road, I um, broke the exhaust by bottoming it out. Uh, now it's getting a bit dirty. This isn't actually my C90, so I've got to look after it. <laughs> so I decided to take it off road. Oh, yeah. Whoa, shit. Oh, maybe we should just wait in the lights. Nope! Let's go this way. 
this is completely legal by the way, um, these are proper byways. Not restricted byways or ooh, bridle paths or anything. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, there's like a river and stuff. Um, nail it! Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm rather wet. So, wipe the camera off. Hope some guy on a KTM doesn't come barreling around here at a million miles an hour. Oh, my visor's covered in water, I can't see shit. Ooh. See, you don't need a big expensive off-road bike to do green laning. You know what, I didn't actually come out to go green laning today, but um, while we're out here, might as well link up a few more. Why are cars so fucking slow? Seriously, like 50 miles an hour zone through here, like 30 miles an hour, seriously. Can't believe I'm bitching at drivers for being too slow while I'm on a C90. Oh shit. <laughs> Just bottoms out everywhere. <laughs> ah, a bit of wheel spin. Yeah. <laughs> right, mate. Bouncing everywhere. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, who says you can't have fun on a C90? Oh, let's slow down for the horses. Wow, there's a pretty magnificent horse. Look at that. I haven't really done a lot of riding this summer. I spent too much fucking time working and um, but it's just nice to just get out on a bike, no matter what bike it is. I just love this shit. When you're doing sort of 40 miles an hour everywhere, it gives you time to relax, time to think about stuff. Through the farm and into the secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Second gear is kind of the, the off-roading gear for the C90. Of course, you don't want to do that and just stamp it down into first. <laughs> that, that, that's quite stupid. Oh, I don't want to get covered in horse poo. Ow, I'm just getting whipped by everything. Oh, fucking hell. Yep, yeah, it's... Uh, doesn't like the big bumps. Oh shit. Oh, I forgot the front brake doesn't work. <laughs> I love the smell of cow shit in the morning. It smells like victory. Ah, oh, wrong gear. Should have been first. Could have hit up that burn, man, and been like. Bah! Should something. Go. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. 
yeah, last thing you want to do off road is spook a horse, man. They could just do anything, end up causing serious injury to someone. So um, I always find it's better off road. If oh yeah, let's get this jump. I always find it's better when you know you see a horse off road. Just just pull over, turn your engine off, and just let it come past into the lay by. And we shall take the secret route. See, most people when they go off road, they sort of actively try and hunt out the mud. I generally try to avoid it. Mud's just fucking annoying. All right, dude. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I kind of wish I was on that KTM that guy was on now. I think it was just gliding over this shit. This is just, like the only suspension on this thing is my arms and legs. And my hands are starting to hurt a little bit now. Ooh. Maybe I should just go a little bit slower. <laughs> Get a little wheel spin on a C90. Fucking dragonfly in my visor then, or damselfly. This thing is gonna break if I carry on riding it like this. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go back down the other way, and then we'll call it a day. I think before I end up crashing and damaging or breaking something. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot how steep this was. Oh shit! That was about as sideways as I think you could probably get on a C90 without crashing. Yeah, I kind of forgot this is quite a steep hill. But the back brakes actually feels pretty good on this thing. Uh, okay, one more, one more before we go home. Oh, I think we'll go. Let's try the let's try the rocky hill climb. Shouldn't be too bad today because it's fairly dry. But when it's wet, this fucking hill's a nightmare. Oh no, I don't. I don't know if I've made the right decision here. I might be calling up here in first, I think. But we'll get there slowly, I think. There we go, into first. Oh, Jesus. Keep the momentum up. Keep going. Keep your feet up. Whoa. Oh, it's going to slip. Let's get over here. Oh, I'm going to have to put my feet down now. Right, back on it. Through the middle. Ooh, nearly fell off. It's all right, we're doing it. We're going to make it. This trail gets pretty tricky sometimes. Ooh, when it's wet, especially. But that's it. Nailed it. It was C90. What a legend. I think we'll call it a day. There is a few other uh, green lanes around here, but one of them is just too rough for this thing. It will probably destroy it. So, uh, another time maybe on another bike. Yeah, it was fun. Um, hope you enjoyed that. I certainly had a good laugh. 
I don't think we've actually damaged anything today. Speed! See, 40 miles an hour on little roads like this still feels quick, but we're doing 45. Well, we're nearly doing 50, actually. I did.